Okay, we're on to assembly step six. Uh, what you want to do is find in your kit, you'll have a um, shrink wrap, I guess you call it, bag of threaded rods. And uh, you want to just get those out. And I just ran a, like a blade along the side already. Cut this. Hopefully it's cut enough where I can get it open. It, there we go. And if you look at this, you'll want, um, you can't really mess this up and you'll go for the longest one. And if you look at the threads on this, the threads on that one are a lot coarser than the threads on this one here. And uh, I'll show you one other tip for uh, make sure you grab the right one. But just grab the long ones and you'll okay, be good. I'll give you another tip. Um, you want to grab your bag of M8s. You have uh, M8s washers and nuts. And it says you're going to need 12 of them. And so just count out 12 washers and nuts. And uh, just thread one on the rod. You Don't force it. Um, but it won't thread on these rods. So that's just another way you can verify it. And it's not that little small one. So anyways, so with that, I'm just going to remove the parts that we're not going to use, and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, next step is you're going to want to thread your, uh, those nuts and washer in this configuration here. I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see. Um, just have like a nut, and these are both symmetrical on both sides. You have a nut and washer there. Um, two sets there, you know, nut and washer, and again, a washer and a nut. And then a nut and a washer. And to kind of give you just a little bit of perspective, when you just kind of throw those on there, it's about one grip here, roughly two grips here, and about a thumb's length here or finger's length there. They'll get in the ballpark. Um, and then the way this is going to work is you're going to, the reason why you're setting this up is you're going to slide. These rods, see the little square here? Just put that in there. And then put a washer on each side of this. And that drops in there. Hopefully that showed up on camera. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. I'll kind of zoom in on this one. Just going to drop it in there. I don't know where this goes. This is probably... So we're not quite done, but the game plan is we're going to put these on the bottom here. And then thread these on the end. And then on the back, I'll flip it around for you. There's another set. Whoops. Oh, you can't see any of that. All I did is we just put this plate here on. It goes on the bottom. And uh, we're going to put the washer there. And on the back side, I've got another set of washers. And I'll show you that. I'm going to just kind of button this up. Uh, put your washer there. Draw a nut there. I'm not sure how far this is going in. Uh, the professional way to do nuts is you want to have three threads showing. I don't know how accurate they left you or how much concern you need with the depth on it because that's going to be millimeters you take off this length here. Um, so I'm going to at least have one thread showing here. And same with this side. And again, just consistency is real good. And if you're... Uh, Another way you could do it, which I kind of don't like, is you could make these flush and that would be pretty consistent. But I'm shooting for one thread sticking out on each end. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. 
and I'm gently moving this back. Same with this one. Now, I can already kind of see, like if I keep tightening this, it's going to throw this off. So to me, that's kind of important. So I think what I'm going to do is spin it around, and I'll show you right now. Um, right there. <coughs> and I'm going to kind of do the same thing on the back side. I'm going to throw uh, my washers on, see if that's coming up there. Throw a nut on there, and I'm going to just put one thread. Same with this side. And then now hopefully that will get me some consistency because then I'll just kind of just snug these up here and that should uh, hopefully get rid of any uh, of that motion going on there and you can call it yaw and with that we should be done with uh, step number six there